Hello, YouTube. Thought I'd do a quick video here. I'm going to show you how you can get two handheld radios and a repeater for $225.95 direct from Redivis. Free shipping. Uh, so I'll talk more about that in, in a little bit here. Let's talk about what I got here. Okay, what I have here. Hey, Bob, good to see you. Bob's been on vacation. He just got back here a few days ago. Bob, did, did he likes to travel. Did you go to a sad ham meeting or a sad hand meeting? Well, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, Bob, good to see you, Bob. I'm glad you're back. What we have here is a Renovus RB91 repeater digital repeater we have the rb24 handheld and repeater yes you heard right another rb24 handheld and repeater i'll explain more about that here in a minute this is a digital single frequency repeater so you're probably thinking oh so it's a simplex it must record and play back uh the uh, messages it receives. No, it does not. This this does the repeating and live and live in real time. That's right. It's not a parrot. Um, it's digital. It can do frequencies from 400 to 470 megahertz, business band, ham, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now this has a built-in battery, which means it has a port for a solar panel to charge the battery, built-in battery. Now, I don't know if Red has got a built-in solar controller in here, but I'm going to say if you're going to do a solar charger, you can buy a solar panel, a small one here, um, very cheap. Uh, here's a solar controller. So the battery off of this will go into the solar charging port on here. Uh, and you can charge the built-in battery or you can plug it in. Now, this repeater it's very simple you can use it as a repeater base station it has a hookup for a microphone which is also the programming cable which by the way you get with this package is the programming cable it's got different button functions it does have a built-in ttt a ptt button so you don't need to use a handheld it does got a built-in speaker volume control channel selection and then it's where your coax hooks up to and a built-in fan so, yes, this is uh, a portable, very good uh, unit that's portable. I throw it in a plastic box, put it on the hillside. So that leads me to the next uh, point here. Um, and I said that these are repeaters. So let me explain how, what I mean by that. So let's say we got a group of hunting buddies. They give all you know, each other's nicknames. They got one guy named the Joker. He likes to play jokes, etc., etc. So they they're gonna go on this big hunt. They go out to this one of the guys was kind of down in the dumps, you know. So they took him out to the strip club the night before. Um, they were all partying. They were up late. They get back to camp. Two of the guys wants wants to still go hunting. So. Like I said, they gave each other's nicknames. So let's, one of the nicknames is Sad. That's why they kind of went out to the strip club, because Sad, he's always sad. They're trying to cheer him up. The other guy that is a real radio buff, he's he's got you know, a whole bunch of ham radios. Uh, he's got some really cool stuff. They call him Ham. So Sad and Ham uh, decided to go hunting. Now they have this repeater set up the you know the day before on a hillside. It's in a plastic box. They got a solar a panel hooked up to charge the batteries. Sad and Ham go on their ventures. Sad's on top of a hill. Ham decides to go down in the valley. Sad falls asleep. He's tired. You know he was having a lot of fun uh, the night before. He's out like a light. He's sleeping. Ham is down in the valley. He sprains his ankle. Nothing major, but he's thinking, well, maybe I'll have the guys bring the ATV out to come pick me up. Well, Sad's out. He's sleeping. He is sawing logs. So he hops, he hollers, but Sad or but Ham is too far away from the repeater. 
But good thing these are repeaters because he can still hit SADS handheld, which will automatically transmit to the repeater. So ham keys up, it goes to SAD, which is a repeater, which retransmits to this repeater, and then it goes back to the base camp. The guys hear them, they grab the ATV, they go pick them up. They go get SAD ham. So now that is just one example. Tunnel work, subway work, mines, uh, a lot of applications where you can use these handheld repeater functions with this repeater. Now, this is digital. You got to use these radials, the RB24, with this setup. They can do up to 30 radials. Now, you're probably thinking, well, man, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good, you know, 30 radials. Now, what's nice about these, they're simple. Volume, channel, PTT, button to tell you what channel you're on, button to tell you what your battery level is. It tells you with voice. So, let's say you uh, got these uh, for the type of work you're going to, you know, whatever work you do, and you want it for the crew, and you buy the shoulder mics. Shoulder mics do not come with the bundle that I'm showing you today. But let's say you get a shoulder mic. And you program these radials. Channel 1 is, you know, the repeater. Channel 2 is uh, the boss or something, whatever. So you program these. When you, when you do this, these radials, when you change channels, the voice tells you what channel you're on. Six. And you can tell what battery you're on Six. by pushing the or battery. High. Hear that? Battery high. So you don't got to take the radio off your belt clip. You can just reach over, turn the channel, or push the button. Channel 4. That's what's cool about it. Now you're probably thinking, well, how many channels can I program in here? Up to 16 in this handheld. But you probably might be thinking, well, man, if I have 16 different frequencies, these guys are going to bump them and they're not going to be in the right channel. Well, no, you could program all 16 on the same frequency. That way, no matter what channel they're on, they won't be on the wrong channel, so to speak. So, um, that's one thing that, and there's no buttons in front. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple radio. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some distance test videos. Um, but here's the thing. Since these are digital, I can't use my normal set up how I record and play back when I do my distance test videos. My radio that does that is analog. So that means I gotta build an interface board that I can plug into here on the on the um, uh, speaker jack here so that I can uh, hook it up to a computer so I can run the simplex software so I can have it record and play back for my distance test videos. So uh, that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. Now, the only disadvantage of me doing that is I use up one of the radials. I want to test with the repeater. Um, I want to test the repeater functions between the radials. Um, so I'm gonna have to come up with a way where I can make. Well, I'll put one. Put this. I'll have this repeater at the, sh at the my GMRS shack. And then I'll have to come up with a way of, of, I'm not sure yet, how I can get these further apart so I can test the repeater among themselves. Now, this, re this repeater, if I didn't mention, can do uh, frequency from 400 to 470, uh, business band, ham, etc., etc. So, yeah, and I'm going to hook this up to my normal antenna like I've done on in my videos. I'm going to go to the same location as I do in my all my test videos when I do this. I'll have this in the car. These antennas do unscrew. You know, I can hook it up to an external antenna in the car to do my distance test. And that's going to work great. Like I said before, 5 watts, 5 watts, 5 watts. I might have an idea to get this to 40 if there's no duplexer in there. So that's my plan. So now you're probably wondering, how do I get the uh, coupon to get the savings? Well, I'm going to show you here. It's really simple. Now, Redivis also has a savings. If you spend over $200, you save $17 more. Now, I'm going I'm to post the website link in the description below uh, with the coupon code. Uh, you can read more about the radios here at their site. Uh, when you click on Add to Cart as you check out, 
you'll come to a section where you enter in your coupon code. The code is going to be as you see it. You must enter it in exactly the same way. GMRS dash two dash way dash radio dash fifteen. That's going to give you a fifteen dollar off. Also, like I said, Redivis also at the time of this recording has a special for seventeen dollars more off over a two hundred dollar purchase. So that's automatically calculated. So you get all this for two hundred and twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents. What a deal. What a deal. And like I said, you can read more about this. Uh, oh, they do have a bundle with microphones. I don't know if that's the shoulder mics. Let's see what they got here. Looks to be the shoulder mics. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So, there. Like I said, you can read more about this. Uh, you know, if you have any questions or comments, you know, please post them down below. But, man, that is a good deal. And, I'll, like I said, I'll be doing... I'll be doing some uh, more videos on the distance test. Now, keep in mind, I got to build an interface board first, but also keep in mind that I live in Wisconsin. We got snow, weather, and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to try to do this as soon as I can. Is there a type of video you like to see? Post it down in the comments. I'll see what I can do. But if you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below. Have yourself a good day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.